Hello everyone. So my objective today is to make the television that I have in the bedroom quite a bit smarter by simply using this. So in the bedroom we have a television that is about 5 or 6 years old. It works absolutely fine but it was already cheap and cheerful to start with so it's not a smart TV by any means and I was considering getting a media player to attach to it. However I recently bought a mini PC and I absolutely love it. Um, I did already a video, it is online so go and check it out. And I started thinking about using something similar to attach to a television so to give it far more options than a normal media player will do. Um, and this in particular should be very very frugal. Um, it does use an Intel processor which barely uses any power. So let's check it out together and uh, I'm going to install um, all the software, do all the Microsoft updates and everything else on a monitor. Um, and then later on I will probably plug it into the television, but the main work will be done here. And just to let you know guys, um, we'll go through the unboxing in a second. A few other things that I got ready in the meantime, of course, keyboard and mouse, the receiver for that. A little mini speaker, because I assume there are no speakers in there. And of course the monitor. And that is all you need um, to get this working. So let's go through the box in the meantime. Fantastic. Okay, we have user manual, uh, little card for the satisfaction, uh, little information with regards of uh, installation, Linux, uh, Windows, and whatever you need. I assume this is the main unit. But it seems that we have quite a few things already there. Fantastic. So this is already tiny as you can see we have uh, usb 3.1 usb 2 uh, hdmi vga um, the lan connector that is for the headphones that is for the power adapter and the power is at the back oh furthermore we have another uh, couple of usb and uh, an sd card it seems over there um brilliant i mean as you can see compared to the monitor it is absolutely tiny going through everything else that we have inside i assume this is a little bracket to attach at the back of the uh, monitor or television or whatever is needed couple of screws and guys of course i will uh, i will put all the links uh, of where i bought this machine uh, at the bottom of the video itself so this is the power adapter uh, oh brilliant we have already yes we have already an hdmi cable as well this is a nice little touch a lot of brands do not include that and another little thing that i like are these type of uh, fastening straps very nice to have them around few more screws i assume some are to connect to the monitor some are to connect it to the computer okay so we have two hdmi cables not that I'm complaining, um, fantastic, so they are different lengths, one is uh, very very small, actually this is fantastic because this is probably what I will use to connect it directly at the back of the television, is a, it is a very uh, short cable so you don't need to get any cable dangling about. In this situation, since I'm attaching it to the computer, I will probably use the slightly longer one. So let me clear up uh, the box and everything else. Of course on the box we have some of the information about uh, the machine as well. I don't know if you can read them, but there they are. And of course they are going to be all um, on the link that I will put underneath. So let me get rid of a few of these things. We don't need the cable, we don't need the bracket. And I'll attach the monitor and uh, we'll power it on.
Okay guys, while this is loading, as you can see, this was the very first boot of the machine. And of course, you need to be prepared on the first boot is going to take a bit longer than usual because it needs to load all the driver, it needs to find all the connection and everything else. So this is the very first boot of Windows. But one thing for sure, I plugged everything in, I just powered it on, you, you saw me doing so. And uh, so far everything is going well. I noticed that the resolution has changed already from the monitor as well. So the machine has already adjusted the resolution to the monitor, which is absolutely fine. It's, it's a good thing already. recognize the keyboard is working fine um, of course the speaker the monitor as I said the resolution is already changed has been adjusted so um, everything seems to be working absolutely fine of course I want to um, get into Windows configure it do a couple of uh, um, a couple of tests installing a couple of software but this couldn't have been easier so we are online now and uh, I assume this is running a few uh, updates in the background, typical of Windows anyway. But in the meantime, let's go and have a look at the uh, system details for the machine. This uses an Atom processor, there you go, it's the X5Z8350. Uh, so if I remember correctly, the maximum uh, power draw from the processor is something like 4 watts, so it's incredibly frugal. 4 gig of RAM. 64 uh, gig of storage and also is a 64 bit system um, is windows home edition which is absolutely fine for uh, for anyone's need um, to use at home let's double check on the storage there you go so um 15.4 used already for windows and uh, potentially as i said the updates that are running 42.7 free and of course you can expand it anyway with an sd card usbs you can attach an external hard drive which i probably will do um, and also, um, as you can see, everything seems to be working uh, quickly. Mm, there is no lag whatsoever. This is one thing that I wanted to show you. Um, even if the machine is incredibly frugal, I'm actually playing uh, a 1080p uh, HD video. Um, and just to confirm it to you, there you go. That's the um, quality of the video that I'm playing at the moment, 1080p HD. And it's playing absolutely fine. And as I said, in the background is running the updates for uh, for Windows at the moment. That was the reason why I went for uh, for something like this because it can then allow me to to change my television to a smart TV and be able to play also high quality footage uh, with no lag, and then also use the internet using uh, the full functionality that a computer will have. So catching up quickly on the situation. This has been running now for uh, five hours, maybe even longer. It's running all the updates. It didn't have any problem whatsoever with them. Um, as you can see, this is all the history of the updates and everything else. And it did the same thing with regards of the, um, the Microsoft Store. Um, let me see if I can get you a bit closer so you can have a look at the updates than they were run today. Uh, let's see, um, potentially in downloads and update, there we go. So you will see then everything was modified today. Um, the machine, there we go. So everything, every single one of these was updated today. So um, again, as much as the machine might not, might not be the most powerful and that's absolutely fine with that, but um, it's running multitasks with no problem at all. It's running all the updates uh, with no issue. I was trying to keep an eye on the CPU, the four different cores of the CPU. Um, even when it was running at full speed, it never thermal throttle. This doesn't have a fan. However, um, it keeps the temperature really under control. Um, no thermal throttling whatsoever. It is very, very mildly warm around this area, but it's definitely all under control. So guys, the last thing I want to show you is the quality of this machine with regards of gaming. Um, I've installed Asphalt 8 here. Um, graphically, it's a very demanding game. Uh, the resolution currently is on high, so it's not on the extreme uh, level. I turned it down just a tiny bit, also because there are still some uh, Windows updates running in the background. Um, it is uh, 
it is a bit of a nuisance, but uh, what can I do? Uh, Windows has got to do all the updates first. But as you can see, the game is actually playing pretty smoothly. Um, and uh, okay, this is not a gaming machine. This is more for uh, for general use. As I said, in my case, I want to attach it to my television, use it as a media player. But as you can see, it can also handle the occasional game if you don't demand um, the best possible resolution on the, on the latest possible games. So, um, you know, for the price, for the qualities, you know, everything is, uh, is working brilliantly. Um, personally, I absolutely love it. And again, because he hasn't got any, um, any fun, it is, uh, it is silent. So this, even in a bedroom, in a, in a living room, will not create any issue because there are no fans inside the machine. So it's totally silent uh, all the way through. So overall, guys, as you can see, the machine is working absolutely fantastically. Um, everything is working smoothly. It is responsive. Uh, I can play the occasional game. Internet experience is brilliant, of course. Um, of course, there you go. More updates coming through. Um, I can definitely recommend this machine uh, for the price, uh, for the quietness, for the power efficiency. Um, this is a little gem.